The start of a weekly vlog. <laughs> I guess so. Hey, my love, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I swear, I just picked up my camera. I'm like, I need to record because what's happening is absolutely crazy. I'm able to upload my video yesterday because MTN saw it fits that. You know, this girl's line should be blocked and they're telling me something about NIN. Now I don't have access. And the last time I did my subscription, I had to subscribe on my phone because I left my Wi Fi spark and I don't know the number. So now I had to upload a huge, huge sum of data to my phone. Phone is blocked. Wi Fi just did it. I'm just in the midst of girls. I'm like, God, what should I do? So, yes, this is going to be 24 hours without internet. What happened to you? Say you for sweet, say you for sweetie, sweetie, my body, say you for sweetie, my body. Is. Hmm. I so I just popped up my camera and I'm like, I just need to record, like I need to record. I figured I should just speak to you guys. <laughs> I promise you, whenever I bring out my camera, like this is the Holy Spirit. So this place is like, girl, drop some gems for my children. And yes, Lord, your servant heard. How's it going to be? As far as I don't know, so I'm unable to upload my video yet. But I figured a way to do that. I don't even have access to my it to my bank app because I'll have to make a transfer. And transfer i would need data and the data the same is blue yeah ignore my messy bed i don't know i don't know what my problem is <laughs> it's a new week so happy new week my girls happy new week my boys hope this week is going on well um i know i'll just speak to you i've got something but yeah now since there's nothing to say i figured i'll just give you guys a review of the book i'm reading so i'm reading this book i've in fact i've just finished reading the book i'm like the second to the last page and i'm reading this book called the four agreements and in this book the author spoke about four core agreements in which if you're able to like come to terms with this agreement i promise you you live a much more happier and a much more satisfied life because you know the goal people might have different like whatever aspiration what's the intentions but everybody's core intention i promise you is to be happy and of course to be very successful in this book it spoke about the four agreements were spoken spoken in this book where um the be impeccable with your word impeccable means without sin so this is your mouth whatever you say to yourself you agree to it so imagine a situation whereby you just tell a very young child you ugly child you ugly duckling very close party to this child maybe your child's parents and then you're like shut up you ugly child now this child grows up and believes he or she is ugly even if in real terms in reality like this child is nowhere close to ugly now she grows up with the i am ugly because oh my mom told me i'm ugly and it could be that at that moment the mom had said so because she was like going through it i'm trying to like get my own story but the story that was said in this book was like somehow similar a case of where i hope you guys can see my my boom boom <laughs> you understand having a grounded mind of who you are really like puts you on a greater advantage in the sense that i hope god please help me say this very well you already know who you are you know that i am that girl i am that shit i am who i think i said i am nobody can tell me anything so if you like come and tell me oh jello oh jello you're doing so well I already know I'm doing so well because I have spoken to myself. I've told myself that I'm doing well. If someone like I'm gonna say, ah, you think you're doing enough? It's like ah, 
I be carry your the good because I know I am doing so well. Do you understand? One person will come and praise you. That same person, that person can praise you because he or she is in a happy mood. The same person can curse you out. I'll be like, oh, you terrible person. And that's because that person is in a... And that same person can come and like curse you out because he or she is in a bad mood. So be without sin with your word. Whatever comes out of your mouth, let it be intentional. Don't just be someone who just talks, talks, talks. Before you make voice out something ask yourself is this coming as a blessing or as a curse ever somebody voice out is a reflection of the person to yourself so if take for example oh my god i know it's going to be so long let me stop saying this thing because i know some people appreciate my talk uh, also says how there are certain things that would break you and number one is gossiping videos of gossiping being a gossip girl is not even cute like i'm sorry like if you just feel like you just want to be mean that doesn't even say it's about the person it says a lot about you you need to be healed you're damaged him like to just sit down and start gossiping about somebody because gossiping brings you down the universe works in like very funny in a very funny way in the sense that you might be thinking you're doing something for others but i promise you whatever you do is a reflection of yourself i'm being kind to somebody that has been because the universe will return kindness to me if i am showing love the universe mirrors so see life is a reflection of yourself like why do you feel the essence of being me when you can like show love it should be very humble and like relax the world needs more kinder people so use that energy and like do well for yourself that energy oh my god the frequency <laughs> in fact that that see the the freak is is affecting the frequency because now there's a lot of vibrations like so imagine let me let me explain this thing for those who really like don't know so imagine the frequency for love is that's maybe if it was a tune and then there's now another energy now that energy now is those gossip energy and now you know your frequency of some nice love the vibrations are just going to you understand and then all those depleting energies those gossip those fear those whatever comes and then it's not like so now affects you and now you're no longer in that frequency of love because love has a particular frequency remember it's ting, 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 ting. now you're having obstruction so that's the same way we live like what type of vibration do you want to operate on as for me i know it's going to be smooth the second one i will just like run through it don't take anything personal i promise you like once you understand this know this and no peace and then the third one was uh, don't make assumptions like if you understand that oh i'm not clear about this let me ask not the one that you be sitting and then you express someone to read your mind because why won't you just know i will not like partners are supposed to be known and that thing has really taught me a <laughs> relationships even not my own relationships that like with the relationships that i see you don't just see that i expect somebody to know like i swear there was one sit time my mom was like that maybe my dad would piss her off and she's just like very annoyed very annoyed and then my father is great about his normal life she she now expects him to know so when i read um the five love languages and then i understood all these things communication blah 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 you don't just now and expect people to know because they love you well he said another very good example he said you be feeling like um this person is going to change what i marry <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first agreement was um, do your best in anything you find yourself doing. You guys always put out your best. You don't know where it will be noticed, and it's between you and your conscience and your judges. Like, if you're doing anything, it's be like, oh, at least I tried my best. What's up with the book review? So right now, I so I just want to like relax because my work is by. I'm on afternoon shift today and afternoon shift starts by 1, so I'll be leaving my house by like 12, 13. <laughs> it's almost time. But I'm so happy for this afternoon shift, honestly, like I needed my full mornings. Anyway, so you guys are good and I'll take you guys along.
okay okay so i'm on my way to work it's already one on the dot oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god anyways i will talk to you guys soon something just happened and time just went by and it came on very urgent hey god i'll, I'll start preparing so yes that's just what's up let me apply small vaseline right here because now from where we we could just be flying everywhere on it see you guys soon bye you guys so i'm back home and while i was coming home i'm like i have your wi-fi and if they block my sim that means i should i can't like put my wi-fi sim okay so i thought about that but i'm like i don't have the number so i can't buy a time calling back again i forgot the pack for me to like see the number i'm now thinking that oh i can actually remove my sim from my phone and just put it and then buy data since you know i need data to buy or oh, i can't even use ussd that's star nine six six star or star seven six seven star you like your account i bought a type i bought paper recharge card so that i would like remove the sim from the wi-fi and put it before and load a time and just buy small a time you know you're too smart <laughs> you're too goddamn smart so that's what i'm about to do i already have my this stuff my stuff and my journal fries the shared journal fries in church you guys know my church they, they always understand you yes. <laughs> We went for youth meeting. We went for youth fellowship. The pastor was like, I saw some of you are here for the journal of rest. <laughs> and it's that's just one thing I want to do. I won't work on. So <sighs> I'm so proud of myself. Like, I'm doing nursing job. I'm doing nursing work. <sighs> and I'm doing it well. Like, I know what to do. <sniffs> we thank God. I'm to the clubhouse before you can have access to it. So people are really protesting today, are they?
So I just came out, I'm like, I need to take a stroll. This night was so crazy. Oh my god, like, I am still recovering. Like, I had this crazy, oh my god, like, I had to leave. I left by, like, what the fuck is that chicken when I'm recording? I had to leave by, like, three. And thank god I left. Because back I was like, no, Jenny, please, let's stay. Let's go to another. Hey, no, I genuinely cannot stay. No, man, I'll be, I'll be so hyped about it. Like, I had so much fun. I had so much drinks. I wanted me. I just, it just, the night was long. And, you know, we got mixing, mixing and all those good stuffs. So, immediately I left, you guys. Five minutes in my Uber, I just started throwing up. I had to tell the guy to stop. That guy was so good. Like, <sighs> anyways, hope you guys are doing good. So we've come to end of this weekly vlog. If you've reached this far, thank you so much. Thank you for always fucking with it, babe. So okay, and catch you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>